I once spent a Shabbos in Hobart, Tasmania, an island just south of the mainland, Australia. I was walking with my host to the synagogue. To Hobart, Australia boasts the oldest synagogue in the Southern Hemisphere. I was walking by a very large church. And my host told me that the chief reverend in this Anglican church was actually born Jewish. His name was Skalecki. So being that I was in Hobart to find Jews, it came the next day after Shabbos, so I gave Reverend Skalecki a call. And he said, Rabbi, I'd like to meet you, but obviously not today. Where can I meet you tomorrow? I know you won't come to my office here in the church. So he made up to meet at my host's home. We had a very cordial meeting, lasted about 45 minutes. Uh, Reverend Skalecki had survived the Holocaust as his parents, before they were taken off to the concentration camp, gave their son to a family to, to take care of. After the war, so the parents didn't come back for obvious reasons, and Rabbi Skalecki was raised as a Christian, Reverend Skalecki. And he moved to Australia to get away from Europe and became the, the Reverend in the largest church in Hobart. And we had a very cordial and gracious meeting together. And at the end, I took out a pair of tefillin and asked him if he knew what they were. And immediately I could see that Reverend Skalecki was transported back in time. And he deep in thought, and he said, those are tefillin. My father promised me when I would be bar mitzvah that I would get my own pair of tefillin. I was eight years old when I last saw my father. I said, would you like to put them on? And he said, yes, I would. We put them on. And I said, now we have to say the Shema. And I said with him, we'll say it together. I said, Shema. He said, Shema. Yisroel. He said, Yisroel. I said, Hashem. He had stuck up the finger like this. And then said, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad V'yahavta, Eis, Hashem Elokech, etc. Three paragraphs of the Shema, he said by heart. It all came back to him. By the time he was through, his face was wet with tears. There was, there was nothing I could say. I escorted him to the door, and as he walked down the steps, he turned around and he looked at me and he said, But I have my family. I have my position. I responded to him, A Jew is always a Jew. When I came back to Hobart the next year, I asked if we'd like to meet again. And he said, Rabbi, I see no point. Several years later, Reverend Skalecki passed away. He was buried in prominence in the C of E Cemetery in Hobart, Tasmania. For the Hasidic Youth story, I'm Herschel Finman.